Hello everybody, it's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel, where just in 15 minutes a day, we'll fuel your mind, your body, and your future. Good afternoon, heroes. So, while we're waiting for everybody to get on, uh, once again, thank you so much for all the wonderful comments you've been doing, the shares, just been really growing over the last several months that we've been doing this every single day, or most of it all the time. Uh, make sure you go to our YouTube channel so you can subscribe and, and follow and also get the entire playlist of the We Are Heroes and the 15 Minute Fuels to be able to go back and listen to. You can listen to these in your car when you drive into work. You can listen to these when you're working out. So you could, you, could, you could use it as a podcast as well as you could also go to Stitcher or SoundCloud or iTunes and get the uh, podcast version from there. We'll start up in our podcast game in a couple weeks just, uh, you know, just figuring all these things out. All right. Also, uh, We Are Heroes, episode, uh, I believe it's going to be 47, comes out tomorrow. Or maybe, uh, I think it's 47. I just saw it. It came out really good. They always come out good. And uh, actually, it's, it's great because what I talk about in it tomorrow is uh, something that we're going to go over today. And today's, uh, again, we're, we're uh, coming into, I believe it's day, uh, what is it? Today's Tuesday, so it would be day 12 all right, of the uh, One Month to Win a series that we have. Just go to, uh, just go to IamHero.com forward slash free series, and you'll be able to be able to register for that uh, right now at no charge at all. Okay, so make sure you get that, and then you'll be a part of it. You'll be grandfathered into it. So today, uh, it's, we're talking about winning. You know, the whole thing is about winning. Winning could be reaching your goals. Winning could be that feeling of satisfaction or reward that you get from accomplishing something. Winning can be completing the circle, right? You finished just something that... Uh, a task you put out to do. So today's characteristic on winning is consistent discipline. Consistent discipline leads to the win all the time. It really does. And I could say discipline lives, uh, you know, uh, uh, leads to the win, but it really goes first you got to commit, right? So you make the commitment and then you need, you need, you need to choose to be disciplined, but disciplined on a one or two days is not going to do it. It's got to be uh, Consistent discipline over weeks, months, or years, and that's when things compound and truly show amazing results. And and the crazy thing about committed, consistent discipline is that it doesn't seem like much during the time you're doing it. I've been there plenty of times, going, "Why am I waking up early? Why am I reading this book? Why am I listening to this audio?" Like in the moment, in the micro, you know, some days it doesn't seem like. It's kind of like the old uh, Mr. Miyagi thing. For those who saw the old Karate Kid, you know, he's painting the fence. Why am I painting this fence? He's waxing the car. Wax on, wax off. Why am I doing this? You know, catching the flies with the chopsticks. In the moment, it feels like that. Why am I doing this? Am I being punished? Why am I even... It, it doesn't seem like I'm getting anywhere. Well, when that thing starts to compound over time and your skills and your value starts to increase, you'll look back and be like, that is the most important thing I ever done. And, and that's the part of it. See, most Americans, well, I could prove it, with five to six people dying of heart disease and cancer, that proves, and I see it every single day, that the human being goes on how they feel and how they look, right? Or how they feel. So, so if something doesn't feel warm and fuzzy today, then they're not going to they're not going to do it, right? So they're chasing for the warm and fuzzy. That's why alcohol and drugs are so popular because they give you an instant warm, fuzzy, or whatever in the moment gratification. See, discipline and inconsistency, it's the opposite. You don't get immediate results. You, it's really mundane. It's unsexy. It's not, uh, there's no fireworks going on. There's no uh, applause waiting for you at the end of it. It's just you and you going through the motions sometimes, but the consistent, the committed, consistent discipline over time really creates the masterpiece and creates the win. So if I just, you know, so if you're going on the feel, it doesn't feel like anything. It's boring. You know, when, 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 anytime you see, you know, whether I, whether it be bodybuilding or something like that, someone asked me, so you see the end result and the end result was, uh, I woke up, I did cardio, empty stomach, I ate my meals that I had to eat, and turkey and asparagus don't sound great. Ground turkey and asparagus isn't really too cold, it's not fun. Um, and I did that for 16 weeks. And then there's the end result, and then I worked out, right? So it's like, there was no magic pill, there was no, mag there was no special sauce, it was just, that was it. That was the, that was the unsecret. So winning is a very, is, is, there's really no secret to winning. And it really comes down to those things, I commit, 
I'm going to be disciplined consistently over time. And that's the equation that wins it all the time. And it's not fun. It, I, well, I don't want to say it's fun. It's, it could be enjoyable, but it's just uh, really it's emotionless. But it gets the job done. It's like your baby stepping up the ladder over time. And that's how you totally get ahead. Uh, it, it's unemotional. It is just, you know, putting in the time, putting the work, and there's a time, there's a time factor to it, right? So for some of us, it might take a couple weeks, a couple years, and for some of you in your careers, you'll tell me, you know, how long it took you, like, it, it was 10 years of doing consistent stuff over time that, that the things started to appear like you were an overnight success. So there is no overnight successes. You never see the behind the scenes of what's going on, all the work that was put in, but it was consistent work over time, sustained over time, uh, versus starting, stopping. When you start and stop, you lose momentum, and if you're pulled by emotions, it really, uh, it really destroys the chance of winning. You know, you start to make uh, abnormal decisions. So it really comes to that. I wish I could say it was any more uh, exciting, but that's the thing. It's not. So uh, it's nothing glamorous. It's nothing, um, you know, it's really what you do behind the scenes in your sweatpants and your no makeup. If you're ladies, you're not wearing the makeup. And those things that you do behind the scenes that no one gets to see, that's when, you know, what people don't see, they know, right? So when you see someone doing great things, you know behind the scenes, wow. You can never get mad at someone. You can never shake your fist at somebody else uh, saying, well, if I had their situation, for, well, you don't know their situation. You don't know all the hard work, the trials, the errors, everything they had to go through to get to that point. And chances are it wasn't fun, but it was consistent, it was disciplined, and they were committed. So it's, it's really that. I'm committed to that goal, that goal that we picked. So now I'm going to be disciplined. Discipline could be having that thing in your routine. I'm eating my meals. I'm doing this. I'm staying away from sugar. And then you're disciplined doing that. And then it has to be on a daily basis over time. And then you win. And, you get, and then that's how you build a habit. See, discipline is, is a habit. It's just not an act that you do once. It becomes a habit. But you can't have a habit unless you're consistent over time. So that's really it. So going over a couple things right here. Consistency is key, is of, of course. I'm going to say hello to a couple of people. Uh, what's up, Cody? Uh, thank you guys for hitting the share button. It's definitely a message people need to hear. Uh, what's up, Mr. Dean? Hey, Sean. Hey, George. Good to see you. Hey, Susan. Gold, gold, good, good. How are you doing? I'm glad to see you on the live. Hey, Mark Randall, Gabe, Kat, Laura. Good to see you guys. Uh, let's go with some examples here. So, uh, you know, the thing is, uh, uh, you know, I was talking the other day to the guys. Uh, a battle board. I'm like, you know what? I, 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 I don't do the Instagram stories as much anymore or the Snapchat stories because I was finding, and for those of you who follow me, I would wake up at 4.30 and I would say, hello, everybody. It's 4.30 in the morning. And I would drink my apple cider drink and, apple, you know, the, the apple cider vinegar drink and start my routine. I'm like, and for breakfast, I had my five or six whole eggs. And, you know, it's the same thing every single day. And I'm like, I thought, I was like, does, do people really want to see the same thing every single day? So, I mean, I can do it for you guys just to kind of uh, show consistency. But then I was like, isn't that boring? But maybe, but then I realized, well, boring, it, that, that's, the, uh, that's the wonderful thing about the boringness. It's the boringness over time that really creates the, uh, the exceptional achievement over time. So, you know, that's, so maybe that's why I didn't do as many short stories. I'm like, how many times do people want to see? I woke up at 4.30 in the morning and I did this, but it just, it just shows consistency. That's why you see the blogs and stuff, the blogs we do. It's just very consistent over time. And uh, if you could embrace, hey, listen, I'm, if you can't, if, you, if you're okay with not going with the feeling, saying this is the long-term gain, because like in the moment, right, if I'm disciplined on what I eat today, it's like, of course I want pizza and ice cream, but I know when I eat correctly today, I'll be able to get my goal 30 days from now. You follow what I'm saying? Or, uh, you know, so, so in the moment, all that, that, that part of you that wants to feel and be comfortable in, in that good, in that, that happy, uh, sexy mood, so to speak, you know, you, it's not really there, but the end result is worth all of it. So that's why Americans, five to six die hard is in cancer because they're going or they're being led by their emotions, how they feel. But when you could say, listen, logically, this is the right thing to do. I'm committed to it. I'm going to be disciplined upon it and be consistent. Then you win the game. So I hope you enjoyed it today. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the, hit the like, and then hit the share. Share those out. Plenty of people definitely need to know that. Uh, D. Peter says, it's nice to know we're in the same mundane boat, though, and there's always new followers uh, that'll, that, that'll see that and yeah, it's in the, it's new to them. You're right, Dean. You're absolutely right. 
I just don't want to bore you with my 4.30 in the morning. But I'll start doing it, you know, if you guys want it. But I, I really think it might be, it might, that would help me out too. Imagine, like Dean says, you know, we're going through it. Um, you know, when we're going through it every day, there's people that are trying to go through it, and maybe they need to wake up and say, well, you're still doing the same thing. And, and uh, yeah, I got to do that too. So you're right, guys. Thanks for calling me. Not calling me out on it, but I'll, sh I'll, show you, I'll show you my morning routine all over again through the day because it really is that. I, I, I think that actually becomes a strength is that you can do the same thing uh, that yields results over time, even though it might not be, uh, it might not feel heroic, it really is. It's doing the, the committed, consistent discipline every single day over time, and that's how you win. Have a blessed day. We'll see you guys tomorrow. It'll be Wednesday, and I'll see you soon at 15-Minute Fuel. Don't forget, the new episode of We Are Heroes will be on tomorrow. Be eyes open for that, and let me know what you think. God bless.